<clears throat> pull the collar, the seal collar. And this thing's got a lot of wear. Like that's not just dirt, that's grooved metal. So that'll tear this seal up anyways. So we'll put a new one of those in, set that one aside. See the, see how worn that is? That spins inside that seal, but we're not reusing it. We got a new one. Then we gotta pop that seal out. We'll use this tool. There's the seal. And then we've got an O-ring in there as well. Which I'm gonna have a little O-ring pick. So we're gonna dig in here and get this O-ring out. And replace it. You see that? All right, no big deal. We'll put a new one in it. Looks good. Feeling the shit on there. Take. Clean that over in. Whatever you do, you don't want to get anything in there. That's one of your case bearings right behind that. In and out, play is okay, but you don't want play going up and down. Anyhow, let's put O ring on it, which. Dab of grease. Slip it over. Maybe it's easier said than done. Maybe it is easier said than done. There we go. New O-ring in there. Now the fun part is my new seal on it. There's my new seal. Take a dab of grease, put it around my counter shaft seal. seal in the uh, freezer so you get a socket the similar diameter as the seal and just kind of drive it carefully in Right, man. 
until she's flush, like so. Looks pretty damn good to me. Now you put your collar on and these YZ collars, if you can see how this end's tapered, tapered end goes towards the uh, bike. So like everything else, put some light grease on it and it should slip right inside. There we go. And that's how you replace a countershaft seal on a YZ250.